Hi, Tim Alden here again. So a lot of people ask me, how do they sharpen their easy border tool? So we figured we'd shoot a little video for you. So I've just taken out our little set screw for adjusting the width and you're gonna need some sandpaper. This is 2000 grit. Usually I'll use six to 1200 grit, but I didn't have any around the shop. And so um, we're gonna use what I got. Uh, strop, we use Formax polishing compound on our smooth sided leather strop and a Sharpie, preferably a dark color, black works. Um, and so your easy border tool comes with an angle set on it. And so that is the best angle that you can, you know, have on it. And so we want to keep that. So if it's too narrow, when you're dragging your tool, it'll cut a narrow channel that'll be harder to bevel. And if it's too wide, it cuts too wide of a channel. So we got that set for a reason. And so we're going to try to keep that angle. And so what you can do over time, if you're just dropping this, it'll slightly round that blade. And so what we want to do is just crisp that very edge up with the sandpaper and then polish it. And to make sure that we don't change our angle, we're just going to coat this with black Sharpie. That way when we start sanding, we can see if we have an uneven angle on there. And so we're just going to open this up all the way. And I recommend doing this on glass or a piece of marble, but I will say when you sharpen stuff on your marble carving block, you want to make sure you get really clean because we're going to get metal dust on here and that'll transfer to your wet leather and we'll stain it. You can always take most of that out with lemon juice. So we're just going to go ahead and start with this side here. And I'm just going to keep that at an angle that I think is same, so I'm getting a little more wear on one side than I am the other. It means I'm holding it a little bit harder on that side, so I'm going to try to keep this as flat as possible. Just kind of go in circles here. Now we're getting a little better. You can see I'm wearing a little bit on that side. And I'm actually, I got a little bit much right here. I haven't hardly touched the very edge. So I'm going to hold it at a little steeper angle. Now we're getting right across that edge. So you just want to run it right there. We're just going to crisp that line up. It doesn't take a whole lot. So once we've done the sandpaper, we'll go ahead and just run it on our strop real quick. And this is how I usually touch it up when I'm carving stuff. I don't go to the sandpaper all the time. Same thing, we're going to keep that angle. And when you draw it back, you want to lift up and then move it forward. Because if you curl it all like that, that's what rounds this blade up. So we want to lift and go back. And that should do it. So we'll go ahead, put our set screw back in, test it on a little piece of scrap. Can you grab a blank? There's an inch and a half strap there, face down. That should work. So we'll go ahead, give this thing a test roll, make sure that we got it good and sharp. Gets moisture in our leather. Just 
tip that back and then just draw this tool toward you. You shouldn't have to put that much pressure to get a nice clean cut. And you can see that it's opening that cut a little bit and it's gonna be real easy to bevel. And so that comes from just tipping it back slightly. It's kind of like swivel knife work. The shallower the angle, so if you have it tipped forward, the easier it is to get a fine line, say if you're doing deco cuts. But if you want something a little bit wider and more opened up, the further back you tip it, the more it's gonna be plowing. So if you want a little finer line, you can just tip it forward a little bit and get a little finer line. So personal preference, hope you like this video and we'll see you next time.